Well, welcome back. Here's your to-do list from Bobby and Laura and I. Uh, you want to wait to harvest rhubarb until the stalks are at least a foot long. That's a good note. Also, the warm season veggies and flowers can now stay outside as long as those temperatures stay above the 50 degree mark, upper 40s for most of them as well. And I think we're there, so no problems. Also, deadhead daffodils and tulips so that the plants can put all of their energy back into the bulbs before you cut them back. Really folding them back and, and putting a paper clip on them. Something right, like or a rubber band around rubber them. Band. You want the energy to go back into the bulb. Right, and so don't just cut them off because right. that, that doesn't allow that, that to happen. It ruins them. I know, the tulips were amazing this year. Yeah. What a they great year for are. that. Yeah, that's right. All right, we're going to start out with Judy. Uh, Judy wants to know why there are small red bumps on her maple tree leaves. I remember this. Right. I have this all the time. Well, it, it's seasonal. You know, it happens when you know, certain things come together early in the season. But that little gall, it's a maple mite gall, that little gall and the mite is inside it, it it's, you really can't do anything right now. If you really wanted to do something, it's spraying way early in the spring, but why do it? It doesn't kill, it's just ugly, and I wouldn't worry about it. But your leaf might curl and it might fall off early, but it doesn't affect the health of the tree at all. Okay, so they just kind of live just there, live just them let along. them go. Yeah, there's nothing you can do about them. All right, well, that's a good note. Okay, Cindy is about to divide some healthy uh, lilies. She's got the Stella, Stella Diora, yep. which are really popular, and she says they haven't flowered much over the last few years. So, you know, there's a couple of things with Stella Diora. One, the older originals need to be divided probably after four or five years because they do bloom well on good wood, on, on new wood, new wood, new, new growth. The other thing is you don't want to get them near your lawn where you're giving it nitrogen. And two, when they do wilt a little, just wait, wait to water them then. Don't let them. So divide them, dividing them is probably the most important thing to do. And you can do it anytime. Do it right now. They're like they're like hostas, where they really are hard to kill, and you can divide them at any time. Right, right? and they'll flower on that new growth. So right you away. want to divide now, spread them out, give them to your friends, whatever. Yeah, Stella Diora is really popular. And all right, Lynette has started hardening her tomatoes, her peppers, and her kale. Should she put them back under the grow lights or just keep them outdoors? Well, it, it, hardening off. Let's go through the whole hardening off process. One. Don't take them and stick them right in the full sun. They will get sunburned. Two, you really don't want to keep them out, in my opinion, when the nights are below 50. Now, per the weather forecast, coming up, the nights are over 50. It's fine. Keep them out at night. But don't put them in the full sun. Slowly take them. Couple, you know, put them in shade or bright light. And then a little bit, little, put them in the sun so they, don't, they get acclimated to the sun. But the nighttime temperatures, in my opinion, over 50, leave them out overnight. And then if you go ahead and plant them in your garden, um, just watch that forecast. If it gets below 50, just put a light sheet over them, right? Yeah, sheet or cardboard box. Cardboard box. No plastic, because the frost will go right through them. Okay, no plastic. All right, good note. I don't think we're going to see those for a while. So I that is not. A, as well. Okay, so we have a oh, crab apples were amazing this year too. My goodness, one branch on Trina's crab apple tree isn't flowering. Any idea what's going on with yeah, that branch? That's just a sport. There's nothing you can do about it. I would cut that branch off. Um, it's nature. Sometimes it happens, and there's nothing wrong with your plant. Nothing you can do to get it to grow flowers or leaf. Just cut it right off and leave it alone, and it'll be fine. Okay. Wow, we we were out there. You guys were out yeah, there, and we got God. that video of the crab apple collection. Unbelievable! Oh my goodness! One of those just, years ago. It was just a spectacular. Yeah. Okay, do we have any questions coming in? We do. Thank you for texting in <laughs> your question. Okay, how does the weather look the next couple of weeks? It's going to be good to plant annuals. Okay, we just talked about mm -hmm. that. Um, you know, bottom line is we're we're good to go. I mean, typically the 10th of May is you have a 90 percent chance that everything will be good after that right. point. But. Um, that's photographs something that you shouldn't have. So, um, but uh, you know what? Now we're good to go, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, I think we're good to go now. Yeah, I good really to go. do. And you know me, I'm the most cautious one. I know, you wait until like Memorial Day right, to put those tomatoes right, out. Right. You might as well, the ground is not very warm. Yeah, okay, right. what is the best, best method to keep squirrels and or chipmunks from digging up flower pots? Well, the only thing is, is some sort of taste. Uh, a lot of people put forks. There's one where you can put little uh, plastic forks in, so when they do go, they hit the forks, but you try to get a repellent or mix your own. There's many on the on the Google. You can on get the Google. on the Google. The yes. Google's right out there. It's yeah. in space somewhere. Yeah. Um, you can get a, a recipe for hot pepper, which really does work good. They're going to nibble a little and then leave. So you've got to change the taste 
of the plant to make them leave. It's the oh. only thing you can do. I have a squirrel named Larry, Larry, who eats half of my bird food a night. What am I going to do? I can't I, do anything. You got a dog. Leave the leave Coda well, out one night. I know night. I should. Oh my goodness! Look I think at Coda. Size I, think, of that dog. I think Coda and Larry are friends. <laughs> That's the problem. Bobby, thanks for coming in. No problem.